In this video, we will continue with trigonometric equations. You will find this on page 196 in the Namibia A is level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Let's look at another example. Solve the equation, and I'm going to underline it. Tan 2 theta minus 78 degrees equals negative 1.57 for this interval. As soon as you see degrees, stop. Make sure your calculator is on the ray, uh, on the degree mode. Okay, so press mode mode on my Casio and then I press one. Okay, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. There it is. The question states this and in this domain, but now this part must become this, okay? Otherwise, I must change it. So first change the domain by multiplying with 2 and then subtract 78. So I multiply 2 and it becomes this and now I subtract 78 from all the terms. So negative 78, negative 78, negative 78. This indicates we will do two revolutions. Anti-clockwise through the cost diagram, not complete, I'll show you now. And go in a positive and in a negative direction. Okay, so it is two, but, but it's a little bit, the last one is a little bit positive and a little bit negative. Okay, so this is my function. Now make this, make this, make it k. Okay, and there is my interval. And let k be this. Now, I, I decided after I prepared for this question that in my next sprint I will do a few changes because I think uh, I can explain it better. The answers are ex correct, 100% correct, but I think on my sketch and especially here I will do a few changes and I'm going to show it to you in this video. So the tangent function is negative in quadrant 2 and 4. That is correct. Okay. But before I do that, go on, I want to show you this. Now, if I work on this revolution, so if I'm, I'm going to say, uh, and I think you can take your calculator, I will change the sketch like this. I'll show you quickly. Because this is going to be, if I'm do, this is going to be 360, plus the 282 degrees. Now, I think if I change, I'm going to change the sketch also. So that means it's going to go all around, and then, this I, I didn't show you the around, but then it's going to end here. And there, this line, this line, which I showed you there, is 282. Okay. But that first one up to there was 360. That's correct. This is the positive. Could have made it blue. And the negative, doesn't matter really, is this. Okay. So I will change my sketch to this. Then I want to show you also. So this is negative. So this is, this is about 12 degrees there. Now, first... If I'm saying first the tangent is negative in the second and in the fourth. So first from the domain of the show you can see that the angle in the second lies in the positive direction and angle in the, in the negative. But I want to correct maybe also this a little bit. From the diagram you can see that the angle in this lies in the positive. I think I'm, I'm going to take this out also. The reason why. There's one angle that's in the positive. Actually, both is in the first 360. Both of them is positive. And then the second one, the second, the second round, it's actually, and if you can see, and you can see it from these lines. Here you can see this line is going how many times? It's two times if going through. For the 360 and the second 360. But in this one, in this one, and because there, there is your angle, we will, we will now work it out. Okay, it's only one, and it's only the negative one. Okay, 
it's it's only this negative one there. Okay, so so for the first one, there is two, and I forgot. For the first round, it's it's actually one, but the second one, it's touching. I think this is now better. So two will be in this one for the first 360, and then the second 360, another one. And then, if you look at the red line, it's only, it's only that two and that first one, the first round. And then this one for, so these are my four angles. And I think if I change my sketch like this, it, it will make more sense. So, for the first revolution, for the first revolution, the positive direction. Now, I'm going to include here. I'm going to include here. So this first, this first 360, can you see there's two? So it's in the second, but they will also be in the fourth quadrant. I'll show you now the answer is correct. Okay. But first get your basic angle. So first press shift, tan, don't, not the negative, only 1.57 equals. And this is your basic angle. Two decimal places because you want your final answer speed to be correct to one decimal place. Okay. So for this one, for this, okay, and I, I'm going to mark it now that you see when I'm, I'm doing which one. Uh, I don't think yellow will work here. Okay, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to just, this one, this one. It's going to be 180, do you see, minus for 57, because that angle is also 57.51. And this is my first angle, that one, which I marked there. Okay, now, the fourth one. I will also write, I will say then 360, now let me roll the keep to read there, 360 minus 57.51, okay, and I just want to press it on my calculator, 360 minus 57.51, and I will get 302.49. This one stops because it's only, that is now this one I showed you there. Okay, now I come to the negative, okay, this is for the first round still. This is the negative direction, this is correct. That is just going there and it's just that, uh, it's only up to there but that angle is 57.5 so it's just negative 57.51. Okay, and this one stops also. So let, let me make... For you so this this is only one there so it's stop oh, let me just keep in. okay so I have this one so this one stop no, no no that one don't stop that one continue this one stop and this one stop okay but this yellow one continues why because do you see there for the second after the 360 for the second it's not, go, it's not cutting that line again, but it's cutting that one again. That one. But it's not cutting that one. So for that one, for the second revolution, I will now say, okay, so if I must, uh, for the positive, in the second, it's that's 122.49 plus the three. That is 100% correct. But this one, I'm taking out. I reprint. Okay. Because... That is, is for the first revolution, and this is the only one in the second revolution, because that is the second revolution, and it's only touching that one, that one there. Do you see? The first revolution positive is touching this two, which I showed you there, and it's touching the, this one that's coming negative, it's touching that one there, there also. Okay, and there's your four answers. But now I move on. I just give you K. So there is K now. So I put in K. And this is my yellow. Do you see? There is my yellow. And there is my, um, there is the blue. The one I showed you there. Just putting it in. Okay. And then, this is my red. So this was actually my red one there. Yellow red. But it stopped there. This one's this one. Blue. Okay, so let's, let's make it like this. This was my first. This was my second. So there is my first. 
there is my second and there was my negative also for the first there is my this is my three and then this is four and this is four. okay and i simplified by adding the 78 on both sides and then dividing by two and then approximate to one decimal place okay i can just read what here if the basic angle is in degrees, round off the basic angle, okay, then do the rounding for the interworking formula. Okay, it's just saying make it two so that the final answer is correct to one decimal places, accuracy. Okay, so this is what I will change. As soon as I do my second print, I will just change the, the, this a little bit so that this sketch is making more sense for me according to, to this interval, which I showed you there. Okay. I want you to stop the video and I want you to do just number one C. And again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay. I'm going to make it just smaller so that you see better. Okay. Number one C. So it's sin a half theta minus 27 degrees equals 0 0.6. Okay. And don't forget, they must give you this domain. And what is that domain? That is going to be theta is bigger than equal to 0 and smaller than equal to 3. 60 degrees okay now this must be the same as this otherwise I must make it like that what can I do already I divide 2 I divide 2 I divide 2 I subtract 70 back oh, 27 now I'm with the previous example 27 subtract 27 subtract 27 so I'm getting I get Theta over 2 minus 27. And now, oh sorry, move it a little bit. And now I have 360, so it's going to be 180 minus the 27, and it's 153. And this one, it's just zero. Uh, oh, no, it's zero minus, so it's minus 27. Now I can start with it. Now it's it's always good. I'm first going to make now my sketch. And on this sketch, I'm going to first try to indicate this. Now, if this one is a bit short, so this one is negative 27. Okay, let's just see. So this one, okay, uh, let's just make my sketch first. Um, yes, it's, it's that 27 short, so I say for example that this line here, make it, I'm going to also make it there, it's, it's supposed to form a straight line, no a straight line, so this is going to be my negative 27, and this positive is going to run through there to there because that line is 153 degrees. Okay, and again that was my 27. That's not included. Okay, so it can only be in this positive there, there. Now I can start. This is sin. Where is sin positive? Sin is positive in two. Sin is positive there. Okay, let me first get the basic angle before I write it. It's in the first and the second. So press, uh, make sure it's a shift, sin, 0 0.6 equals. Now my basic angle is 36, make it two decimal places, 0.87 degrees. Okay, so 36.87 degrees. Now, don't forget, that this basic angle is always the angle. So, okay, so what is sin? So now I can fill it in. <clears throat> I can see it's bigger than this one. So, and this is why I was looking. 
of course I wanted to see and it's going to be semi-positive here and here. Okay. So it's meaning that this, this is that 36.87. 36.87. Okay. And this. So basically, basically, I'm going to now check. If, if I want to see, this, well, this one is not a problem. The negative, it's not existing there. Because this is all blocked out. This is not there. So the negative, it's, it's not going to work. It's only going to, in the first one, can I see? And because, yes, because it's 36 point, I'm going to subtract. It's going to be there. So I can say, so it's existing there. Do you see the blue is in that area? that is existing in this answer. So now I'm going to say, okay, I can make it K. In this case, I'm not going to make it K. Or theta minus two. It's not always necessary to make it K. Okay, so I'm going to get that 36.87 degrees. That's my first one. My second one is going to be, because it's not a revolution, then, then, then it's easy because it's less. It's not a second revolution. And now it's going to be 180, that 180, minus, minus that 36.87. Okay. And now I'm going to say, if I simplify this further, I'm going to say 36.87 plus 27 equals. So it's going to be a whole theta equals 63.87 and then I divide by 2 um, now let's see I divide by a half so I multiply so divide 0 0.5 so that's going to give me an answer so theta is 127 127.7 7 degrees that's my one that's my one answer and my other answer, so this is a half theta, I first have to take the 180 and I subtract the 36.87 and then I add the 27 and I get 170.13 and then I divide by 2. Oh, not, but yeah, divide 0 0.5, divide the half, multiply 2. So then theta is going to be 3. Four zero point three degrees. If I want, I can say therefore theta is one two seven point seven degrees, or theta is three four zero point three degrees. That's my final.